Hi guys, so I wanted to show you how to make a hero header on a website, um, a hero header like this. Um, and you can see the rest of the website is not built out, but this one is right here. So if we go to, um, let's see here, if I close this out, <clears throat> this is my website builder. Now I'm just going to erase this because most of you guys don't have this on here already. So most websites will have by default this hero header here. If you don't have a hero header up here, I'll show you how to put one here. So go to Add New Section, Hero Header, and here's the hero header that you just added. Um, it will show up in the bottom, so you will have to take it and drag it to the top or wherever you want to put it. You can leave it on the bottom. You can add one in the middle. Um, now that I have two, I'm just going to delete one. Now, to make the hero header like how I just had it on the website, we will go to Edit Hero Header, Change Style, and we are going to choose this style number five. Now, once you're here, you're going to want to disable your overlay um, so you don't have anything covering your image. Now, from here, you also want to go to your button. You want to delete your button. So you want to trash both, or all three of them, I think there is. Press save. Now where it says feel authentic and peace, you want to erase all of, all of the text image. So now we want to head on over to Canva, and I have Canva open right here. <clears throat> Now, the easiest way for anybody to do it without going into a further search, just go to presentations. It's on your front home page. And this is the free version that I'm using. And you're going to come up with a blend template. So since mine is Coffee Hut, I'm going to go and search coffee. Or whatever ideas you guys have for your, um, your background. Um, now I actually want a photo. So I'm going to go to photos and I want this photo here. And all you have to do is open it up to size. Okay, once you have that set, I'm going to transparency and I'm going to dim my transparency. I'm also going to, you don't really have to do this, but I'm going to, hmm. here we go. Okay. I'm going to change my color on it so it's not as bright. I'm going to go to colors because I want to be able to see my text. There, that's fine. <clears throat> And I'm going to go to text. I want a heading. And I'm going to want a subheading. So my heading will be the coffee hut. And my subheading will be through the senses. Or hold on, I forgot a word. Okay. Now I want this to actually be... Oops, sorry, guys. Widen. There we go. And I want this bigger. I want to change the font. Okay, so I actually want this a little bit lighter so we can see my words better. There we go. <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to want. Now I'm going to go to share 
and download. Make sure you have put this and you are on a PNG or JPG. I'm going to choose PNG. Download. Okay, we see my download right here. Now, I'm going to take this and take it to my other screen. So we're here back in the website builder. Now, I'm going to hover over here so I can edit my hero header. I'm going to upload the image. And the image that I just took, I'm going to upload it here. And we're going to click Save. And voila, there you go. And let's go to Preview. So here is my new hero header that I made. So, and, and with this, you can place your text anywhere. Um, but just know that because you uploaded it, it's not going to be editable. Um, now, other people can also just upload a background image and use the default text if you want to, um, but this is a way to just be a little bit more creative. All right, hope this helps. Thanks, guys. Bye.